Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to need to find this limit. We're going to use an algebraic method and we're going to support our answer with a graph. And also, I'm going to show you a table. First of all, when you have a limit, you want to use substitution to see what you get. So whatever you see that X, you're going to replace it with 3. And then try to simplify that numer numerical expression. If you do that, in this case, you're going to end up with something that we call undefined, 0 over 0. So that should tell you that you have to do a different method to find this limit algebraically, and that method is nothing else than simplify rational exponent, uh, expression by factoring. So I'm going to copy the first part of the problem, which says limit when x approach to 3, and now I'm going to look to my rational expression, I'm going to try to factor out. x squared minus 9 is a difference of squares and can be factored out as x minus 3 times x plus 3. And the uh, denominator x squared plus 2x minus 15, we're looking for two numbers whose product is negative 15 and the sum is 2. That will be x plus 5 and x minus 3. And you notice here the x minus 3s cancel out. That's the reason when you plug 3 and you, you get that 0 over 0. Now we have a simpler form of the rational expression, uh, which is x plus 3 over x plus 5. And yes, now we can use the substitution method and we can plug the number 3 in, and we're going to get 3 plus 3 over 3 plus 5, and that will be 6 over 8, which is a very good answer. However, that answer can be simplified, and if we simplify, we're going to end up with 3 over 4. That is how much this limit is. Now, let's see the graphical uh, answer. And you notice I, uh, this is a piece of this rational function. It's just the piece that goes in this window. And you notice here when x is getting closer and closer to 3, the point A, yeah, that will, looks like the value of the function is between 0 and 1, 0.75. Also, we can take a look to this uh, limit numerically. I use the TI-83. Uh, and again, we put the function in the y equal, then adjust your table to start from 2.99 and uh, the uh, delta, the uh, scale going by 0.1, and then you can go and click table and you get my table. And you notice when x is getting closer and closer to uh, 3, the value of the function y is getting closer and closer to 0 0.75, which is nothing else than 3 over 4. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.